Hey guys, it's Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. Today I want to talk about insecurities. There's something that needs to be said about insecurities. Why are they good for us? Most people think they're bad for us. Why are they good for us? And what can we do to get rid of them? Or not even just get rid of them. What can we do to make them better in our lives? So, insecurities are things that you probably know. There are things that you're scared of about yourself to release to the world. So I used to have insecurities of talking to people and approaching people. I had approach anxiety, essentially. I had social anxiety. And these are all things I use cognitive behavioral therapy to get rid of. And that's part of my story. But yours might be different. You might have insecurities about your weight or losing hair or things like that. And what you can do to achieve getting over this insecurity is put it out in the world. So first, go out and release it. You don't have to say it to anyone first. Just go out into the world and scream it to the heavens that I am scared to talk to people. Just let it out. Get it out there into the universe. Second thing you wanna do is let it be open with your friends and family. So you can tell your friends, you can tell your family. That way you have a support group. So it will push all the people that you don't want in your life out and all the people that you do want who will support you in to your life. And thirdly, you want to become comfortable with your insecurities. So if you are scared with whatever you have, accept that for as who you are. And insecurities are great because insecurities allow us to grow. And the best thing to do is to reach towards that pain of that insecurity to allow yourself to grow. Something Ralph Waldo Emerson said, I'm butchering this, is said, where your pain is, is the direction you should take. And if your insecurity is bringing you pain, you take action on that area of your life and you get over that insecurity. That's what I've done with my social anxiety. That's what I've done with tons of my insecurities and to the point where I keep growing and growing and growing. And the more you take action on your insecurities and overcome these fears, we talked about in the previous episode, uh, you stress, taking action, being confident about your stresses, the more you become uh, secure about your insecurities. Now there's something about friends that you don't wanna have. And it's that you can have friends that are low self-esteem and you can also have friends that are super high self-esteem but you do not want friends, not necessarily friends, you don't want to be closely acquainted to and be influenced by the people who are insecure because that can affect you too. So find role models who are very secure and very confident and attach to them and model them. So that's something that I've done and that you should do too. Um, and so insecurities are good, they help you grow. You're, you're going to take on action to what you're feeling in your pain. This is a quick recap uh, and a call to action. So let me know in the comments what you were insecure about and what action you took to get overcome them, what you did to overcome them. Thanks, guys, for watching, and stay beautiful.